have um, Ambassador Roja Tana, Uganda. What is required now is for those commitments to be turned into action on the ground. As I mentioned, there are still many issues to be resolved, and time is short. And therefore, it is vitally important that that commitment is implemented and that we see a real dynamism on the part of both parties to tackle those issues so that those commitments can be fully uh, upheld. The international community can help, but it is the two parties who are responsible um, for the holding of the referendum and making sure that those commitments are upheld. Clearly there is uh, some slippage uh, in the timelines that are set and therefore the timelines are extremely tight between now and January uh, the 9th in order that all those processes we'd gone for, we gone through. Uh, we particularly focused on the question of registration. That is a crucial part of this process and that registration process, I understand, will now begin on the 14th of November. Now, it is extremely important that enough time is given to the registration process so that it is a credible process and that all those who are entitled to vote in the referendum uh, are able to vote. Uh,